I am a fan of fairy tale retellings. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. This one is lovely. It's dark, it's weird, it has really heartfelt themes that are in it. The book we're gonna talk about today is Thorn Hedge by T. King Fisher, and this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. It follows the story of Toadling, and Toadling had an interesting upbringing. When Toadling was born, she was taken from her crib and taken to the land of fairy and replaced with a changeling. If you know anything about changelings, they're usually like these horrible monstrosities that look look like children, but they're not really. They're like part fae. They have like a bit of powers and whatnot, and they're just awful. So she was replaced by a changeling, and she was sent to the realm of fairy, where sometimes if you go there, they just eat the human children. But Toadling was lucky enough to not be eaten and ended up being raised by these grotesque, weird, swamp-type fae called the Green Teeth. She grows up with them and she grows to love them and that's her family. And then one day this other goddess comes in the form of a hare and is like, hey, your family's going to need you in the future. You need to return to your family and we need you to bless this child and be their godmother to prevent some bad stuff from happening. And the child that she's going to be the godmother is, is the changeling that she was replaced by. and. With her growing up with the green teeth, she kind of morphed into somewhat of a green teeth-esque person because when she went there, she was a small tiny baby and she was able to absorb some of the magical qualities so she can turn into a toad. She kind of has a frog-like face. The color of her skin is like weird, mushroomy. She cries black tears. So she's to be the godmother. And she's really sad to be taken away from her family because there's a point in the book where it says, the love of monsters was uncomplicated. You know, they're idea of beauty and like what is beautiful in their eyes and that alone that whole concept was beautiful and i love that and just you feel so <laughs> i loved toadling so much toadling is such a little muffin but also kind of a bad <laughs> She goes to give this blessing to this changeling child. Something goes wrong, and then the child turns out to be a terror. In order to like suppress this child so this kid stops hurting people, Toadling puts her in a deep sleep. And for hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe even longer, she sits there and watches this tower by herself. Everyone is at this point gone. And she has to make sure that this changeling does not awaken. Because if it does, all hell's gonna break loose pretty much. So she's constantly worried that one day someone's going to come. And at some point she's like, God, the stories have to be done, right? They have to have stopped talking about this. The beautiful maiden and the tower, blah, 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 blah. But then, one day a prince comes, and the story takes off from there, and it was so good! It's a short little novella, T. King Fisher. I feel like each book I read of hers, like, I progressively like her stories more. At some point, I think I'll have to do a tier ranking of them. I think my favorite ones so far have been A House With Good Bones, Nettle, and Bone, and this one, Thornhedge. It was so lovely, I loved Toadling so much. What a muffin. So if you're a fan of T. King Fisher and fairy tale retellings that are kind of dark and creepy and weird, Thorn Hedge by T. King Fisher might just be for you. And if you're a fan of T. King Fisher, the next video coming up will be about another T. King Fisher book, so stick around, check it out. If you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.